Hello, this is Khadija to say again and welcome again and to talk a little bit more about Things Fall Apart um, by Chinua Achebe. What I learned from this book, um, well, what I have learned from this book till now is what a special book it is and the way of how we view classics. So when we talk of classic books in literature, and I think sometimes we talk about classic as that we're only certain books by certain writers are classics. So when we hear and we read that this book is a classic, we have to think why and what makes it an African classic. Um, and one of the things is, I think, is because it is such a simply written book. You don't have to have a big book to be an important book. This book is just over about a hundred pages, but it gives you so much in terms of learning about people, about culture, about tradition, and about how, even though it came after slavery, in some ways it is still almost like a slavery because they're putting people back in a slave in a in a in a position of being enslaved by by, by changing their lives in, in in their own country and telling them that what they what they believe is wrong and the and the, and the new paper coming in telling them what what they believe is right um, so I also think it's special because we need to have I think every culture needs to have some writers and some work that they that is part of their culture, that is tradition to say, to hold it up to say, this is a very special book in our culture and to be able to give it to anybody to read for them to understand a little bit about our culture. And of course, Africa is very big and this is just set in Nigeria in one village, so it can't explain everything. But I think for people who don't really maybe know about anything about Africa at all, this is, it's, a, it's a good start. It's a very good start, but there's so much more. And I think as well, just showing that what can happen in that one village was reflected around the whole continent. That's what is important. And that is what makes it a classic. Mm -hmm.